Okay. I am doing a video here about my collection. Things I found in the GameStop dumpster. Things I've gotten from the Goodwill, uh, thrift shops, yard sales, that kind of thing. Just kind of document what I have and share with the world. Okay, first thing up is at a yard sale recently. I picked up the Nintendo Game GameCube. It came with um, all the all the controls, all the cords and pickups and stuff. No games, no uh, controllers. But it was only ten dollars, so that was cool. Then uh, GameStop dumpster stuff. <coughs> I got a Dark Siders Two Death Lives with a code for Avatar uh, attire. So I went ahead and redeemed that, and it was good. So that worked out well. Got a Sonic the Hedgehog Classic Collection. It's just the game case, no instruction manual. Well, instruction manual, uh, no game. But my wife has a DS, so I figured she can use the extra case or something. Then I got a Super Mario Sunshine, and it comes with the booklet. Came with the game. The game's in the game queue right now. Uh, it does work. I also got. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai game, no manual. Um, I'm not a Dragon Ball Z guy, but you know, it was free, it was a free find. It also works. Uh, also got a uh, NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. I am not a uh, NASCAR guy. It's the game and the manual. I um, also found two loose games. Um, one of them was the Star Wars Rebel Strike, the Rogue Squadron 3. The other one was uh, Roadkill. They have a little bit of wear on the back, but they do both work, which is great. Uh, let's see. I also found for the PS2 SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, I used to have this game for the for the PS2 a long time ago, and it's actually a fun game to play. Uh, for the Xbox, I got the uh, Celerity Deathmatch, also from the GameStop Dumpster. Complete game, booklet, it does work. For the PS2, I have uh, Tie 2, the Tasmanian Tiger Bush Rescue. Um, this is also disc and booklet complete. I don't know if PS2 games work or not. I don't have a PS2 anymore to check those out. Um, okay, another yard sale thing. I it was able to get a PSP at a yard sale. It came with um, ten games, five movies, all for a hundred dollars. Um, I've been wanting to get a PSP for a while. When I had the opportunity, I got it. Um, unfortunately, the games weren't that great. They were mostly uh, Japanese animation type games, Final Fantasy, things of that nature. So I went ahead and traded them in and got uh, four games and a movie. Oh, I'm sorry, five games and a movie. I got Little Big Planet, which is currently in there, it's playing. Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters, it was a pretty fun game. Loco Roco 2. This game is awesome. If you haven't played it yet, pick it up. As you can see, it's only $4.49 for the PSP, so it's not bad. Also got uh, Hot Shots Golf Open T. It was only $1.79, so you, it was a really good price. And another $1.79 I got was uh, Dexter, or Dexter, so that was pretty cool. And I also picked up, at the same yard sale, uh, this hard case for the PSP. It holds uh, five games or movies, two SD cards, um, the system itself, the charger for the car, earbuds, and the volume control. So that I picked it up for, for $2, which is really awesome. Uh, let's see. I also got Turning Point, Fall of Liberty. I had this game before, and I didn't get to finish it. But it, it was pretty fun, a pretty fun game, so I decided to pick it up again when I saw it. Um, it's the, the tin case, 
It's got the uh, instruction manual, and it's got the limited edition concept art collection. And it's missing the DVD. It's just the game. It works. DVD is missing. It says I paid four forty nine, but I'm about to show you something real quick. I did not pay four forty nine for this game. I paid Turning Point Fall Man three fifty nine. So nine cents less than the uh, pro member price, which is not too shabby. Let's see. Now on to the Goodwill stuff. I found I was really excited about Evil Dead Regeneration for the Xbox original. It's the the box, the game, and the instructions. Picked it up, says there for five ninety nine, but I actually got it for only three dollars. Um they're having a huge sale on their their media. Also picked up at uh, EA Sports NHL 2003 for the GameCube. At 3.99 for that one. Also found on a whim one day, found the Grand Theft Auto 4 Strategy Guide. Sticker price 19.99 at GameStop, but I got it I believe for a dollar 99 at the Goodwill. So that's a good find. And the one I was really happy about, I was not expecting to find it at all. But Stable 2 Guide for the Xbox 360. This game is awesome as hell. I played it, I beat it. But uh, now I can go back and get all those uh, gargoyles that I missed the first time around. And now um, that's pretty much it. I did pick up a controller at GameStop, paid $15 for this. So it was actually $5 more expensive than the GameCube. <laughs> go figure, right? Okay, and now, one thing, it's kind of embarrassing, but I did it. I had the fail of the week out of that Dollar Tree and decided I would spend a whole dollar on the newest Guns N' Roses CD, Chinese Democracy, paid one dollar, and it's not even worth that. This album is horrible. So, any of you guys out there are looking to get this, if you really, really want it, you can probably find it at Dollar Tree for a buck, or download it illegally for free, because that's about all it's worth. Alright, so, those are my finds, my buys, my deals, and the sale of the week. Um, okay, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you guys later.